Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Y Forever. So today is Wednesday, and we're using Ubel Xyz. So I did tweak the deck a little bit. Who's typing to me? Uh, uh, can I grab it? Uh, 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 there we go. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, sure we'll do you. Hey, can I have a question? Hey, I have a question. Yes. There's nothing stopping from you, Bell, attacking. It just won't do anything. You know? That, you know, that's just pretty much how it goes. So, yes, you, Bell, can attack, you know. Let's say, um, you know, of course, since I don't, I have zero attack. Let's say, uh, hypothetically speaking, I have, like, I don't know, uh, that Gates of the Dark World. All fiends gain 300. Yes, then Terracarnate can attack you. If you have no monsters, then I do gain 300 attack. I do the 300 attack, I do the 300 damage to you. Alright, so. Uh, we got some, we got some decent plays. I'm not sure if I want to send you Bell, or do I want to send, you know, like, uh. Yeah. Back to that, okay? Oh, sorry, let me get unprofessional now. I got an email. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, which one do I want to send? Well, I guess I'll just send you Bell. You know, Phantom of Chaos is a cool send, too. Because I can start doing some, like, synchro plays or whatever, but this is fine, too. A attempt to attack over your monster. If we don't, that's fine. At least reveal to me what you are playing. Okay, that's fine. See? And that... And that, people, see, see, that is one of the key reasons why you don't set back row until a second main phase. And, last meal. Terrible, terrible meal, terrible meal. That was the most disgusting meal I have ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> terrible meal. Yeah, just, woo! disgusting but yeah there you go that's one of the key reasons why ah Sean is typing me on Facebook I'm sorry if you guys heard that <laughs> oh yeah damn he is just milling oh my god this guy is just having terrible mills Alright, do you really want to risk it? I mean, do you really want to risk it? I mean, if you hit this, it's good, but if you hit this! So, be careful with your Lila. Because, you know, I could just whip out a Terror Incarnate on you, but, and, you know, you don't want that. That that would be bad. Alright. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. I don't care that about that. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Target the right one. Wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. But you know the deal. Let's get Tear. Oh, uh, where are you? There you are, baby. Tear. I just love when you get changed back for your plays. So good, so good. Oh, that reminds me. If you haven't watched Kamen Rider Falls episode one yet, make sure you watch it because it's you know it's up. Watch it. Kamen Rider. Er, Mill. Mill. Two. Wow. Three. Wow. See, and this is the reason one of the key reasons why I don't like playing decks like that. One of the key reasons why I don't. Because you get mills like that. Like, wow. Okay. End phrase, you know the deal. So, Light Pulsar, we get wiped. Of course, Light Pulsar, and then summon Lad. I mean, not Lad. Why'd I say Lad? What I don't know. I mean, Redum. Redum! Yep. And this, and then this is pretty much the point where uh, the duel gets boring because the Redim is just gonna summon Light Pulsar, and then I'm just gonna wipe. Uh, 
blah, 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 and no, nothing really happens, and the duel, the duel pretty much slows down to a, a screeching halt until I pretty much figure out a way to get around him because, uh, you know, I don't really see him figuring out a way to get around me, so. Yep, and here comes the loop. You know, it's just your favorite time of the day when you just loop it up, you know. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. He has one, two, three, four, five. Ah, Chaos Rusher. He just had to mill. Oh, I guess he didn't want the Chaos Rusher. I mean, yeah, first you gotta do that. You can't just go bam, Chaos Rusher. But yeah, you can go ahead and do your mill. I mean, do your banish. Summon your Chaos Rusher. There we go. And that's pretty much all the U Bell that I have. So more, no more U Bell plays for the rest of this duel. Yep, we are out of U Bell plays. No more Terror. And if tar Ultimate goes, no more Ultimate, because yeah, I only won one Terror Incarnate. No. But really, how was I supposed to know that I was going against, you know, I removed from uh, the Chaos deck? How was I supposed to know? So, what are you going to make? A Photon Strike Bouncer? Of course. Uh. Mm. Uh. I plays, but I'm not sure what I want to do. You know, there's no more Ubel in this duel, so it's pretty much everybody else. I kind of just want to like dark hole, definitely. Because if I activate the effect of you, like you just, you know, negate me. Uh, then I can call the haunted Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send um, Phantom of Chaos. Go Mask Chameleon, summon Phantom of Chaos. Then I can sync or XC, which will be fine, I want to say. I probably sink. Yeah, we're gonna dark hole. That's great. Oh, why'd I banish that? My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. That was a misclick. Okay. Now we're gonna go. Activate call. Summon Armageddon Knight. Effect. I'm gonna view the deck. And we're going to go ahead. There's no point because we can't definitely drop uh, Phantom of Chaos. Then we're going to activate Roto. Yes, Roto. We're going to view the deck and we're going to go ahead and get Armageddon Knight. Another Armageddon Knight. And we're going to summon Armageddon Knight effect. And we're going to drop Level Eater because Level Eater gets the grave. You know, where are my, like, my Galaxy Queen's Lights, my my Starlight, Star Bright? I'm not getting those cards right now. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and overlay for... Uh, oh, wait, no. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. We'll go ahead and hit you first. So, we'll get you ahead and hit you for 14. Hit you for 14. I don't believe... Is this when it's in the graveyard? Let's come from the graveyard. From your hand. Okay. That'd be kind of cheap if it would vanish to light and darken your graveyard to summon him from the graveyard. Uh... Now, I kind of want to go ahead and... Um... Uh, get, uh... What's his face? That galaxy guy? Uh, so go ahead and make a chain. Go ahead. In fact, yes, he, he was a new inclusion into the deck. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Galaxy Wizard. You know, uh, we can increase his level by four, and you contribute him to add one Galaxy card, except for Galaxy Wizard, from your deck to your hand, so you can add Galaxy Queen's Light. So, and he's also zero attack, so you can summon him with Mass Chameleon. He's just overall also a really good card for the deck. So, he joins the uh, team, the party. Alright, I'm done.
Oh, this is supposed to be on the top of the deck. It's supposed to be on the top of the deck. Top of the deck. There we go. I'm sorry, Sean. I see. I see that you're messaging me on the Facebook, but I can't get to use right now. That's fine. So you're gonna. That's fine. That's fine. What you guys say? What do you mean? What's up with Pokemon? Oh, yeah, that is that is what's up. It's always about the Pokemon. Damn, Trag, Gores, and oh my God, this guy's just milling terribly right now. Terrible. That's French. It's not French. I can't speak French. I don't. I don't, I don't know how to speak French, so don't think that I do. Uh, do I want to say yes? I want to save. I I'm, I can actually use my chain next turn. So. So you are 19, so you drop down to 11, so you take 700. Still get to draw a card, though, so that's good. But I kind of wanted to save my chain. I feel like I can definitely do something with him next turn. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 versus my 1. This isn't anything. 2, 3. I'm about to draw a 4. So he's up on me with 3 forces right now, but I got the field advantage. So go ahead and draw. Alright, Galaxy Wizard. It's cool. It's cool, you know, how much I like Galaxy Wizard. Uh... So we're gonna go ahead and go. I mean, we can make a Dyson Sphere, and you know who doesn't want to make a Dyson Sphere. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, effect. Tribute it to the grave. To so go ahead and view my deck and get a Galaxy Queen's Light. And we'll go ahead and activate this. Oh, activate it, then for, uh, it's monster's own defense mode. Then we'll go level eater effect. We'll eat off a level of this guy because he is a monster. Now he's level 9. Activate Galaxy of Queen's Light. Level 9. Overlay these two for Dyson Sphere. I have no idea what this fucker does. Once per battle step during your opponent's turn to discard with six inches of attack, you can negate the attack. And when this card is targeted for attack, while has some experience, you can target too much. You can grab a target. Uh, uh, during Mavens 1, you can detach one of the from this card. This card can attack your opponent directly this turn. Your opponent must control a monster with higher attack to resolve this effect. Okay. That's fine. Uh, then we'll go chain effect. Go ahead and detach. Use the deck. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, uh, put this back on top. Uh, top of that. All right, now I gotta remember. Did I normal summon this turn? Yes, I did. I did normal summon. I normal summon the galaxy guy. So, so eighteen and twenty-eight for game. Yeah, GG. That was a terrible mill for him. But this deck worked. It's working. It's working. It's actually coming out. Okay. <laughs> terrible mills. Terrible. Just terrible. Ugh. You know? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See, the deck is working. It's starting to actually come together. It's starting to look uh, fine. And, you know, just maybe uh, we're actually getting it there.
Uh, kind of sucks that he got rid of my Ubel, but hey, you know, we pull off plays even without Ubel, because it's Ubel's Xyz. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have Ubel for our Xyz plays, but we have other cards to handle the job to get the job done. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Fire King Ubels.